Greetings, friends. It's an honor once again to welcome you back to Rick's Garage. I have a brief video for you today. It's kind of a tool review. This is not the tool I want to review. This is a slide hammer that I purchased in the 1970s as a young mechanic. It originally came with this attachment for the pickup trucks and the large automobiles of the day. And in the 1990s, when front-wheel drive vehicles started to become prevalent, I purchased this attachment for the smaller hubs. And like I just said, this is not what this video is about. The attachment I want to show you, let me take these away, is this. This is an attachment for pulling drive axles in front-wheel drive cars. It screws on to the slide hammer and it makes the job a lot easier. Now, as with all my tool reviews, this is an unsponsored review, meaning I'm not receiving any promotional fee for showing you this tool. I paid for this tool with my own money, just as you would have to. Now, this tool comes in two pieces. This is the attachment that goes around the axle, and this is an extender bar. Now, I do not have a link to these because I purchased these several years ago and the links are gone but Amazon sells both of these parts and so does eBay. This you see here is the attachment or a facsimile of the attachment I'm using. Now when you search these they'll be available in 48 millimeters or 64 millimeters. The one I'm actually using is the 48 millimeter version. I can't imagine what you'd use a 64 millimeter version for unless you're doing the front wheel drive Cadillac or something. But for most of your vehicles, the 48 millimeter version will be perfectly fine. You can order these on either eBay or Amazon. The price is quite a bit more than what I originally paid a couple of years ago. Since the pandemic, uh, the prices on everything has seemingly doubled. They claim we're only having an inflation rate of about 5 or 6%. Who am I to argue with the great powers that be? Everything I go to buy, the price is doubled. Now this is the extender bar I purchased. As I mentioned, it's sold separately. And this again is much more than I originally paid for it. And I think it's due to the pandemic. Uh, so this can be searched on eBay or Amazon. Now this happens to be an axle that I have in the shop here hanging around... Um, Several years ago, I had a customer that wanted me to replace both axles. One axle was bad, but they insisted on replacing both. And so this is the one that was still good. I saved it. Perhaps somebody might be able to use it sometime if they have the same car. I always try to save people money. Now, if you've ever tried to get one of these out of the transaxle, usually you've taken some sort of device, uh, a pry bar, and try to pry it out. There's really not a good surface here to pry on. The other thing is when you're trying to pry it out, you're actually caulking a little bit, causing it to jam in there. Sometimes it can be quite difficult to get out. Um, if you've ever tried to get one of these out, you know what I'm talking about. So the solution I found was this device that I just showed you. It slips between the housing and the uh, axle and a couple of slaps on the slide hammer and it comes right out. Now it just so happens, friends, that I have an axle that's ready to come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy this thing is to use. So what you do is you very simply uh, slip this in around that uh, housing, the inner housing of the drive axle, and then give it a few whacks and it comes right out. I only had to give it one whack. Now we can lift this thing right out of here very easily. So nothing could be simpler. It's a really a nice tool and it's got a real long reach. So that's all I've got folks. I just wanted to share with you this attachment for slapping out uh, drive axles. So I want to thank you once again for watching Rick's Garage. Before I go I will post two videos to your left. 
should you find one of the other of interest by all means feel free to click on them and to your right will be a picture as always my trusty avatar in the form of my german shepherd by all means feel free to click on that if you wish to subscribe so thanks once again for watching and we hope to see you all very very soon